just trying to get them the fundamentals of teamwork, uh, working hard and giving them the best opportunity to shine that they can really. You've got a core set of people who work hard uh, for the club to succeed. Pushing towards the same target of being um, the most successful, successful youth club in the North East, that's the ultimate aim for us. My name is uh, Chris Hughes. Well, I'm Gavin Anderson. My name is Aaron Graveson. I'm Grace. Uh, my name is Rob Webster. I'm Hannah. I'm, I'm Jack Powell. I'm head coach of the under 18 side here at Hatton. Um, I started at the club probably 15 years ago now, um, helping out coaching uh, one of the under 14s teams, uh, which my brother played for. Um, and then since then, I've been involved at the club in many different roles, um, starting with under six. Uh, team, taking them all the way through to under 16s. Um, since then, joined the committee, um, and in the last two years, I've been chairman of the club. Focusing on the coaching, so a, a number of the kids that I've got in um, in my under 12s have been with me since they were five years old. Um, and what we're trying to do is is give them um, the best football education that they can, open doors, give them opportunities. So um, we've done some fantastic occasions and events with them, been to a number of different Premier League grounds and played football and so really from their perspective um, it's about, it's not just about teaching them football, it's about um, at this time of their life having experiences, um, working, working together, teamwork and all of those kind of social skills. I'm pleased to say that um, in both of my teams, um, the kids are some of the best friends, um, so they spend time with each other off the pitch as well as on the pitch. Yeah, so we've got a, a pretty good model now where players can join us from two years old um, and then they can move all the way through our system through to adult football now, which is something we've been working really hard at to make sure we've got that adult provision at the club. Um, so players would come on a Saturday morning, they would join us from nine o'clock, um, that'll be for the two year olds, and then we have a session for three and four year olds, a session for five and six year olds. Um, when players are six years old they can then join our club and they can play and represent Hetton Juniors Football Club. Just keep it as a family club. Uh, we want to make it as big as possible but the links with CNS has probably also helped because you can see from two year old all the way up to the new adults team of what can what Hetton can give. It's uh, a real big part of the community. And I think that's really important for a local community, a family club, um, which is um, going to set us up really well for the future as well. We did that and I got started to ask to do some goalkeeper coaching one time because the person who was paying was injured so I said yes and I enjoyed it um, and from then we've kind of I've kind of built up from three kids we had about 16 last year and the club thought it would be a good idea if we made it a club thing which I think is absolutely fantastic that goalkeeper drops one makes a mistake that's it it's, it's more than likely going to lead to a goal I went to this training session I was playing I didn't really enjoy it but then I got introduced to this goalkeeper goalkeeper position I enjoy making saves because because it's there because you get credit for it and like if you make a save you have to try and you have to either palm it out or like try and ca uh, catch it because um, the, the defenders are all, always going to be there so if, so if you make a save that you can't catch and you can't push out uh, you're just going to rebound in front of them and they're straight in the score and also um, getting across your goal quite quickly is quite hard as well. Mm. Uh, I want to go through the non-league route if, if I don't get in a football academy. I just want to enjoy the football. Out there, that was great. We're fighting for each other. We're playing for each other. Trying to win the ball, trying to score the goals. That's exactly what we need. Juniors um, has been going for a long time um, um, and we're talking years ago now there's photos that we have from the 1930s. I think the, the, the history behind the club um, you know this this was our um, 25th anniversary year this year so the club's been going a long time um, but officially I think we've been going since 1995 um, at that point uh, there was probably four or five teams at the club um, when I joined the club um, there was probably about six teams um, and now we've got 30 teams and we're going to have 320 players registered um, when we start the season. Um, 
And what, what's special about the club now compared to where it's been in the other years, the structure it's got. You know, we've got a you know, recognised chairman, Chrissy Hughes. You know, he's, he's been in football as long as I remember. Uh, you know, Hetton's a small old mining village as well. It's a, it's a community kind of spirit. It's, a, it's got a community feel to the club and it's just grown. It's, it's getting bigger and bigger. Um, we have provision for boys and now we have provision for girls. Um, recently been awarded Wildcat status uh, from the FA. Uh, the Wildcat status uh, we've recently been awarded gives us that standard um, within the club um, which means that we can now increase the level of provision we've got for the girls. And we currently have um, under 7 training and uh, we have a team at under 9s, under 11s and under 13. Uh, we've got plans for, for the future of the girls so we'll, eventually we want a ladies team so there's a lot of Kind of a lot of pressure on our shoulders to get the girls right because we are the oldest hitting girls team and um, we've got a lot of younger teams so we're the ones that are going to be we're the, the main feeder into the ladies team which will be you know, in about five or six years time all the running but it pays makes off. us run <laughs> a lot <laughs> all the running but it pays off in the end you know there's been a massive shift from mm. you know from, from from what girls do and it's cool to play football for girls now probably the best thing you'll ever do Oh, I just love it, it's really fun. We're very much a community club. Um, in fact, we just got the latest award from the FA, which makes us a community club, which is one step up from the Charter Standard Club, which all clubs have to be. Um, we've done a lot of work recently in the community with the uh, food bank. Um, so we have a, a, a space in our centre where um, parents can drop food off and we take that to the food bank um, each month. Um, we also have an area in our club where you can drop off old boots, um, old kits. Again, people can come and collect those as well because uh, players go through a lot of football boots these days and it's nice to be able to offer that provision for people who may be, may be yeah. finding it hard, especially in these times now, um, to be able to do that. Um, it's important, important as ever now just to really develop the, the marketing strategy of the club and the, sponsor, the sponsorships that we're getting in. Um, not just to obviously provide better opportunities for all the players here, but also to um, really support the local businesses in the area who's, who's been fantastic the last few months, especially coming out of lockdown. Um, so yeah, it's really important that we, we support them, um, but also try and bring new businesses on board uh, to, follow us, to follow us on the journey. Um, during the school holidays, we have holiday courses um, and we've been supported by the local council who give us some money to help us support that, to make it affordable um, for players to come during the school holidays to, to give them something to do and obviously keep them physically active and support with their mental well-being too. We have a strong ethos in place. Um, we are blessed in as much that, as I said before, all football clubs thrive on volunteers and we're no different. Um, and I happen to think that ours are some of the best around. Uh, I'm, I'm happy to help out any way I can. Uh, anyone needs us, I'm, I think I jump at a chance to help anyone. Uh, I think there's a family base because a lot of people have played for Hetton Juniors, from dads to brothers who are now got children that own. I think that's what also helps because nobody wants to see the club go and I was in a, I was in a, a very bad position not a couple of years ago and through the hard work of certain people um, and the whole club to a, to, a, to a certain degree we've got it as one of the best clubs in the, uh, in the North East. Um, yeah, so we've um, we've just this season entered the the national league system. Um, so we've joined the Wearside Division Two as an adult team. Me, myself, and Jack uh, worked hard to get that going. Uh, and we've had a few bumps in the road. My goal is for us to have them in the in the Wearside League, the Premier League, the top division. But my team is just have a solid head and adults team where people can support on a Saturday afternoon. Um, and I do hope that in I don't know three or four years time that that team can maybe get promoted to Wearside Division One. Um, and having that adult team will give a clear pathway for our players from under 14s, 15s, 16s, then to under 18s and then potentially moving into that adult team. Now it's fantastic to see there is a pathway from very very small children to go all the way through to play for um, an adult team on a Saturday which is amazing. Yeah I think it's very important that obviously I've got the Saturday team now to provide an, an opportunity for the for the younger players especially um, to really aspire to, to play in that one day um, and know that they don't have to go out the area anymore to to get a sort of a decent level of football on a Saturday afternoon. I want to try and develop as many of the under as I can, uh, so the fingers crossed they can push, push on into the adults team. Like a one club, one club ethos is what, what we like to see. So everyone wears the same kit, for example, everyone plays down here, everyone trains down here. So it really does feel like everyone's part of, of one club all, um, sort of pushing towards the same target of being um, the most successful, successful youth club in the North East. That's the ultimate aim for us. 
uh, and I, 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 mean, I don't think we're far off achieving that That's, I think the goal for the club as a whole is just to keep growing I think not to a certain degree where we can't handle it but just keep things in the right place what can we do with this Hetton facility uh, the likes of this how can we get people to do some camera work can we promote the club better well I mean long long term goals would be you know the, the ladies team uh, we've done it with the boys we've just started the, the boys team um, which has been a, a you know a long time coming it's been a long time since we've had an adults team in Hetton um, and there's no reason why we couldn't have 40 teams in, in five years' time. Um, we've got a lot of work to do on, at our site at Hetton School. Um, the Hetton School have been really supportive of, of what we're trying to do. Um, and we've just been accepted under an initiative from the FA, which is a 10-year pitch improvement plan. Um, and I think it's important that when players come to us, they're playing on good quality surfaces um, that's safe. Um, and also that the, it allows them to play football to the best of their ability and not having to worry about um, how, how the pitch might be looking on that particular day. Um, and we really need the local community to get behind that to make it a success because I would love in my lifetime to see um, to see Hetton Juniors um, as an adult team playing at a, as high a level as possible. And I think as a, as a football club, um, our facilities, are, we've got to keep working on improving those facilities. My, my one ambition is that I would love to see um, a fantastic top of the range facility outside of here, um, floodlit through a 4G pitch um, with lots of teams training on it um, so that we kind of continue to make this a, a hub and a base, that would be fantastic.